We are in the jungles of the Amazon. It's nighttime, and a shaman is looking around through the darkness and listening for a sound, and he hears it. It's coming out of a tree. He reaches in and plucks out a gigantic monkey frog. He puts it down on the ground, spread eagles it, secures the limbs to stakes in the ground, and then takes a wooden rod, although I don't think he uses a Scottish oatmeal spurtle, but never mind. And he rubs the back of the frog. The frog, of course, is secreting a variety of protective toxins impermeating the wood. The shaman then goes on and takes native warriors and burns a little hole in their arm and then takes the toxins and rubs it into that wound. All of a sudden, there's projectile vomiting. Picture the scene from The Exorcist. After the vomiting subsides, the warriors say that they are more alert and out they go for the hunt. Well, you know what? This ceremony called Cambo, and indeed the toxins are also collectively called Cambo, has emerged from the jungle into the Western world as a form of alternative medicine. Why? Because people are very keen to rid their body of unnamed toxins. And uh, during the Cambo ceremony, this is supposedly what is happening. And they are treated the same way as the warriors in the jungle. They vomit. They feel terrible. Some describe it as a combination of having the flu and food poisoning. But after the vomiting subsides, they say that they feel better, that they have been both physically and spiritually cleansed. Well, the fact is that there's no scientific evidence that these toxins have any kind of therapeutic value whatsoever. Uh, although they certainly make the heart beat faster because they increase adrenaline uh, secretion. But in terms of ridding the body of any kind of disease, as is sometimes claimed, there's just no evidence for that. But it is indeed a fascinating ceremony. And I think it is probably worthwhile for researchers to look into the combination of toxins that are secreted by the amphibian to see whether or not there actually may be some sort of therapeutic value in some of the opioid-like compounds that are secreted. But as far as I'm concerned, I think I would forego the projectile vomiting and go for, uh, I think, a more seductive product of the Amazon, Theobroma cacao. It uh, tastes great. And uh, you don't have to capture frogs, although the frogs are released, I'm told, they're none the worse for wear. You don't have to capture frogs, and you don't have to put up with the side effects. Maybe a few cavities.